Good morning students. Today we are going to discuss about database connection using PHP. Previous class we discussed without connecting a database creating a form using PHP code. So for running a PHP code we need four types of local server. So I already discussed XAMP, WAMP, LAMP, MACAMP. X for any OS, W for Windows OS, L for Linux OS, M for Mac OS. So in this video below I attached one link for how to download and install XAMP server. So in my system I already installed exam server. So first I go to control panel then click on exam control panel. So after that it will show one window. So here just click on start button on Apache this will start the server here there is a three stop button instead of before that there is an on start button so we have to start Apache MySQL then file so start click on start 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 but already I started so it will show the stop button so after that you have to click on admin then it will show this window then we have to create a database so that we have to click on new button then create a database have to create a one database name so database name is student then you have to select scroll down then select collation then click on create button so after creating a database you have to create a one table so my table name is REG registration so reg there is a two columns so I am giving a 2 then click on go button. So here you have to assign column name. So my column name is U name that is user name. Second one is password. So password is PWD. So type is varchar. So integer only accept integer value where care it accepts integer as well as character so password is where care so length is 20 then again password length is 20 then click on save button so click so now I created one database so database name is student then I created one table so table name is registration table so reg table so now first first of all we have to open exam folder so go to c colon so in c colon there is a one folder name exam inside the exam again one folder is there that is ht docs so we have to create PHP code inside the HT docs. So first I am creating one text. So right click new so one text document so in text document I am giving name as index extension is dot PHP so I already I created so index to dot php index 2 dot php so i am going to write a code so 
so index 2.php already i write a code so index.php i created one html form so first uh, tag this html open so end with html close so head section so in html tag there is a two important heads or tags we are using head tag then body tag inside the head tag i'm using title tag so title is login so after that body tag so inside the body tag i created a one form so form in form i'm using a two attributes method is a one of the attribute action is a one more attribute action so action means after submitting this form what action going to perform for example action equal to login dot php so after submitting this index one page it will automatically call login dot php so second attribute is method so method whether post method or get method so here i am using a post method so already we discussed what is post what is get method so in form i'm using i'm creating a two field so first one is username second one is password so input for username input type is text the name equal to u name name attribute so name attribute is only used for backend purpose that is your database connection purpose then password uh, name equal to pwt type equal to password then i'm creating one button that is a uh, type is submit uh, so submit name is submit value is login so in submit button you have to show some name means we have to use value attribute value attribute show the name of a, your uh, buttons or any tags so value equal to login so form completed so form close body close then html close okay so after submitting this form it will move to login page so we have to create a php code okay login page so login page php code starts from question mark so open tag question mark php then end with close tag then question mark close tag so starting of the php then end of the php so uh, whatever variable we are creating in php we have to use a dollar symbol so dollar then followed by variable name so dollar followed by variable name is user so if you are printing any statement we have to use echo okay so now i am creating one variable so i am using a variable name is user so dollar user then uh, i am assigning some values to variable for example dollar user equal to root then second variable dollar password that is pass equal to nothing so i am assigning uh, null value then a dollar db my database name equal to test db so we already created a database so we already created a database so my database name is test db right so i will show you so here we are create a own database name so database name is test db okay 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 so now so i'm creating a three variables okay so now i want to create a or make a connection for making a connection i'm going to called inbuilt php function that is mysql i mysql underscore connect so that uh, this one is a default built in function using in php for making a connection so 
this function have to pass four parameters first one is a our local host so sec last three parameter is first one is username second one is password that is second one is username third one is password fourth one is your database name so already i created a variable for these three parameters so username password then database name so username i am created on variable dollar user for password i am creating uh, and storing on variable dollar pass then database name i am storing into a on variable dollar db so i am passing these three values dollar user dollar pass dollar db so in this line for making connection to local host so hold the value i am storing one variable that is called dollar connection con so i am using the variable name is a dollar con so in this statement make a connection for local host server after that so we have to get input from the html form so here i created on html form right so there is a two field username and password so i want to get this value into php form so for getting input from the html form getting input from the html form uh, using variable name is dollar underscore post so dollar underscore post used for getting input from the html page so dollar underscore post we have to use same name whatever we are giving in a name field in html form for user name we are assigning a name as u name so the same value we have to use here so dollar underscore post of u name dollar underscore post of pwd so for password in html for password we are creating a name attribute is pwd so value of name attribute is pwd the same i'm using here pwd so dollar underscore post is used for getting input from html form so i'm getting input that is u name and password from html then storing value into a one variable so for creating variable dollar followed by variable name so same variable name i'm using u name and pwd so connection is ready then i got value from html form <clears throat> now so user so user enter details have to insert into a database for that i want to create a query so you know uh, so for creating a table or creating a data uh, creating a table i want to insert a value for inserting a value we have to write a query so query is insert into listen so go to my uh, local host so so test db inside the test db i am creating a uh, table name is stu2 stu2 ma already we Uh, starting of the session i created a origg database i think so origg database or origg origg 1. database then stu1 so now i am showing so previously i created on database so i will show this so database name is test db then uh, table name is student so student okay now i want to insert a value into a student table so go to my php code so insert into so my table name is stu 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 so i am getting a two values from a html form u name uh, so stu u name and pwd Uh, insert into table name then values so values i am getting a value 
i am getting a value from html then storing a value into this variable right so dollar u name dollar pwd so dollar pwd so i am storing this value into a one variable that is sql okay now uh, we make a connection then we are creating a query so for connection and query so connection variable is dollar con then query value is dollar sql then i am passing connection variable then sql variable into a sql query engine so this engine make a result that so uh, connection and sql query i am storing into a variable that is the variable name is result dollar result if not dollar result that is it will give either true value or false value so it is not a result means it will echo that that is it will print not done else it will print great done okay so all of you clear so here i am making a connection so for making a connection using my sqli underscore connect for creating a query or inserting a query i am writing a query so for getting into from a html form i am using dollar underscore post so both connection and sql passing into a query engine then result will be stored into a result variable so then i am checking a if condition if it connection is done or uh, entered value stored into date stored into a database means it will show great done it will not store in database means it will show not done okay so now i am going to run php code so go to browser so go go to browser so already test db student table in test db student table or stu yes i am creating a table name is stu there is a totally 15 rows right 15 rows 15 so now i am inserting a 16th row so for that first type a local host local host means it will display the your php files right so first i have to run index1.php so index1.php i am inserting a value so inserting value class username is class then password is also password also class then click on login button it will show great done that means your value is inserted into a database so now we have to check our table so test db stu table so okay see here we are inserting username as class then password as class okay so now totally there is a 16 rows inserted okay okay students now we you all clear in how to connect a database using php then how to download and install exam server i attached Uh, below this video i attached one link so first you go and install the exam server after that you write php then html code for executing a php for executing a php code okay if any queries please use command line if any query so comment uh, in below the youtube link i will answer your question okay thank you students